Loading into Star Citizen for the first time uh, can be overwhelming even if you have a large group of uh, knowledgeable friends to play with who are teaching you as you go. There's just a whole lot of stuff to learn and a whole lot of stuff to do and there's not a whole lot of guidance or tutorial system in the game, if any, to kind of help you get on your feet. Uh, so a lot of players will struggle as they enter the quote-unquote verse and try to figure out uh, how to get started. The first thing you'll notice uh, loading into a city for the first time is that your FPS is really chugging along. Uh, a lot of people will freak out immediately think they need to upgrade their GPU, but oftentimes the culprit is a lack of RAM. This game is very RAM intensive, uh, and 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM is just not enough. Even 32 is kind of uh, pushing it. All of the cities in this game look a lot different. But they're all pretty much the same. You got your starting area where your bed is, you know, your little bunk bed, and uh, where you like spawn in. Then you run out, and there's a bunch of stores, uh, well, it's different stores in different zones of the city. Here you can buy like ammo and guns and civilian clothing. You can go to other zones that will sell ships or ship components. Uh, there will also be uh, independent contractors in some of the cities that can give you missions to do. But we're going to head straight to the spaceport and uh, get started. Just kind of uh, follow the signs in whatever city you're in. There are pretty uh, comprehensive signs. So we're following these signs, we know we're going to the spaceport. Try to catch the train before it leaves. Whew, barely made it. Depending on the city, it'll be about a 30 to a 60 second wait if you miss a train, so it's not really the end of the world. Just look at that FPS chugging. I do have all of my graphics set to max. Uh, you can turn down graphics uh, some to help with performance. Oh, except volumetric cloud settings. I have that turned off. I recommend uh, to everyone they do the same, uh, regardless of their uh, rig. There's really no point to it. And it uh, messes up your performance a lot. You can actually find that pretty easily in options, uh, game settings, uh, graphics, planet volumetric clouds, always turn that off. I uh, typically use Horizon as my uh, spawn point, uh, but I came to Area 18 because uh, this and Microtech seem to be the more common spot that new players choose. Okay, and then we'll spawn. Uh, this is my starter ship uh, with my game package on it. I went with the Nomad because it's uh, for a size one it's fairly tough and tanky and it has a 
decent amount of firepower. It's got three size one shield generators, and it's also got three size three weapon mounts. And it's uh, fairly nimble and quick and has a little bit of cargo uh, capacity in the back. It also has a bed on it, uh, so it's uh, got a lot of utility for a uh, starter ship. These beds, a lot of ships have these beds, you can lie down in the bed and then hold your F key to look around and you'll find a log out option that will log you out in the bed so then when you log back in, you'll be in your ship already wherever you logged out at. Uh, pretty uh, nifty feature. It can cause some issues with your character, but if it messes up your character, uh, first try a gender swap. If a gender swap doesn't work, then you can do an account reset, uh, which will cause you to lose your consumables like weapon magazines and stuff. To start your uh, process, you want to leave the hangar, so you go to your comms tab, go to friends, you're going to contact the landing services, and that will open up the hangar for you. First thing you want to do on leaving your city is look around you. You can open your spool uh, for quantum travel by hitting the B key default setting. And you're going to look around until you find this uh, square marker. That's going to be your spaceport for your city. In the case of Area 18, it's Bajini Point. That's the first place we want to go. Landing there will reset our uh, landing point or port of call so that when you go to log back in next time you'll be at Bajini Point instead of uh, Area 18. Do the same process here. We're going to call uh, Bajini Point. That'll request a landing. And they will assign us a landing bay. And there's our marker, that little yellow arrow. Uh, for most people, it'll be a blue. I get yellow markers because I wear the arrow uh, medium armor.
Open up your repair tab. Uh, your repair tab to refuel and repair. And once you've uh, applied that, you don't have to stay in your pilot seat. You can just exit the ship. Always make sure you close your ship up after after you exit it. Uh, players not in your party will be unable to access it if it is closed, which uh, will prevent people from stealing your ship. That's weird, this cargo bay doesn't actually like, close up, I guess. I haven't really used this ship for anything. I prefer a size 2 ships. Once you get up to the terminal, go ahead and stow your ship. It'll be done fueling uh, by now. And then starting out, you're gonna want to come over to a, a food place, just buy a hot dog and a drink and stow those in your backpack so you'll have them for later. Uh, you can also go to the Galleria of the uh, space station. There's a bunch more food stores there. Uh, there's also going to be some armor and weapons stores. Uh, we're going to skip that and go straight to the cargo center. On rest stops, this would be the refinery at Space Ports. It's the cargo center. Uh, we can buy aerial medium armor here. And most importantly, we can buy multi-tools. You always want to have a multi-tool and a tractor beam. So here you can go to your armor tab. Uh, this arrow armor is yellow unfortunately, but it's pretty decent medium armor. Make sure you get a backpack as well. Uh, get the full set of armor. The medium armor is pretty decent for PVE applications but the most important thing here is you want to buy a multi-tool and you want to buy a true hold tractor beam attachment for the multi-tool and then to equip that you drag the multi-tool onto the slot you want and you can move the tractor beam into your inventory drag the tractor beam onto the tool you know it works because it changes out the tractor beam for the multi-tool battery I always just throw the batteries away to save on the clutter now I've got an extra tractor beam on a multi-tool all set up and then you buy your armor uh, you have a starter pistol uh, you if you want to spend money you can go to the weapon store in the city or uh, on the spaceport to buy uh, some guns and ammo there's nothing wrong with that, of course, uh, but you don't need it. Your starter pistol is enough to get you going. Next step is return to the hangars and habs. You're going to go to the medical clinic. This would be where you come to check in if you need regeneration treatment for like tier 3 injuries and stuff. But you want to go to the pharmacy. 
go to supplies you want to buy a few med pins and you want to go to personal weapons you want to buy a paramed medical device and you can also buy a couple of refills for it you can use this to heal yourself and other players it's a very clutch tool to have it should always be a part of your kit even if you don't plan on getting out of your ship you just never know what's going to happen and then you're going to come over to the uh, insurance table go here and I'm not going to actually change mine from Grim Hex, but normally if you were just starting you would want to reset your location to this uh, RX clinic. That means if you die you will respawn at this station instead of back in a city where your main hospital is. Uh, it's always uh, better to avoid the whole city process if you can just because of uh, time lost like navigating the train cars and uh, doing all that stuff not to mention leaving Atmo which is a pain especially if you're on Horizon when you go to upgrade your ship components you want to go to your vehicle loadout manager and keep in mind all of your stuff is region specific so like if you have ship components in area 18 you can also access them from Bajini Point, because Bajini Point is the Area 18 space station. However, you won't be able to access those components from, say, you know, Crew L1 or Hurston, etc. So you select the ship you want to modify. And it'll only show the ships that are reclaimed to the station. So like right now I've got the Valkyrie, Nomad, and Ion because they're all parked here at Bajini. And then you come over and you can select a component like your cooler and you can change it out for different pieces. Uh, same with your quantum drive, etc. Shields, put your paint on, change out your weapon systems. Whenever you get done doing all of that, you just hit save changes and equip and boom that ship is ready to go. If you can't remember where you left items, you can use this uh, knickknack system and you can search for items by system, which of course right now we only have the Stanton system. And uh, then you can choose which section of the system you want to search in. So you search in Art Corp. And it shows everything I have over here. You can uh, filter the search by different types of items. Nifty little way, you know, once you've got stuff spread all over the entire solar system, it can be kind of uh, difficult to remember where you have certain items. Anyways, hope this is helpful. Now we're going to pull our ship back out.
Quick step is going to be to go to your contracts manager. I don't know why the Xeno turret is still showing up. This sh event should be over. Thank you. Select the boarding action in progress. This is a great starter mission. It's going to be on the other side of the uh, Arc Corp planet, so we're going to hop to a couple OMs to get around to it. Went the long way to get here, but we'll get there, so it's okay. be a couple of uh, bad guy cutlass blacks that you have to kill although only one is showing up for us right now oh no there's a second one maybe no You get those uh, hostels cleared out. You're gonna move in to board the 890 jump, and then we have to kill 20 hijackers and not kill the guys in white armor who are the uh, like good guys or whatever. If you came in here with just your starter pistol, you're going to want to do this lower level first for sure. 
You can almost always find a guy down here. Sometimes not. After you kill guys and you know the area is immediately secured, you can open up their inventory with the loot option and then you can take their armor. The Stitcher core armor is really great, uh, medium armor, it has a very high uh, deflection rate where it uh, deflects a pretty high volume of bullets that hit. Yes, sometimes these uh, enemies do uh, do a lot of rubber banding. This is how you use your med gun to heal. After you pull it out, you just hit that V key to access the uh, personal healing mode, and then left mouse to apply. Bridge is clear, and we've killed eight of twenty. So now we can go down to the hangar area. As you go, there's a lot of guns you can loot, uh, mostly P8SC guns on this uh, mission. Uh, interesting note, you can also use this medical bed uh, during this mission if you have tier 3 uh, injuries.
as you can see it's uh, sometimes going to be bugged out but we got the mission complete no friendly casualties forty five thousand credits in the bank and now that the mission is done you can use your tractor beam and you can move all of these bodies out to your ship and loot all of those kits of armor which you know 20 free kits of armor off the bad guys plus however many cops got killed in the mission you can take their armor as well just be advised when you take the bad guys armor into your ship it'll sh make your ship show up as red so uh, if you go somewhere that has turrets they will shoot at you uh, one thing I love is uh, putting uh, bad NPC bodies on people's ships Another great thing about this uh, multi-tool is that it uh, functions kind of like a grapple hook, like if you've ever played art. You can use it uh, very with great effect to uh, like launch yourself and pull yourself around in uh, EVA very useful once you have the uh, bad guy body loaded onto your ship you can just leave it in here if you're gonna go to like a ground station uh, alternatively if you want to go back to like a main spaceport uh, you can move his uh, armor and undersuit and everything onto your ship inventory storage uh, most of these ships don't have very much storage if you're going to be like focused on looting bodies the Valkyrie, Carrick, or Hercules have by far the most uh, personal storage forgot to steal the gun Then you can throw the body back off of your ship so that the uh, turrets will never even know. the objective I'm sending out scans the default button for scanning is the sh left shift key that'll uh, help you find the target but you'll also notice that it uh, provides like a 3d mapping of the ground that can be very helpful uh, when you're close to a planet in the dark our target and Avenger Stalker. Notice these uh, NPCs uh, like to joust a whole lot, so just be careful of your positioning and try to avoid getting rammed while you uh, clear them out. 
It's like the number one hazard of bounty hunting NPCs in this game is getting rammed. Which coincidentally is a pretty big hazard in PvP also. Once you do that initial assessment bounty, uh, you'll start getting more bounties. Like here we go, Blackjack Security is now offering me 25,000 credits to do... Oh, this is an ERT. I actually have ERTs available because of my leveling. You won't get that right away. Uh, ERT might be a bit much for my piloting skill in this ship. Uh, I've never tried that before. Uh, but a, a skilled pilot can definitely handle an ERT in a, any uh, any size one ship. Even a, like a Mustang or a Aurora, you know. Uh, they can definitely do it in a Nomad. Uh, so anyways, you just uh, keep grinding out your missions and uh, level up your respect. The main one that you're going to be focusing on, of course, is your Northrock group. Because those will give you the group bounties and the group bounties will uh, pay you a lot more. 87,000 credits plus bonuses. You can check your progress uh, with the levels by going to your uh, Delphi tab. And it'll show you all of your different uh, mission providers. Vaughn is a bad guy uh, vendor, so I have him maxed out. And then you also got your uh, good guy missions, uh, Blackjack, uh, Bounty Hunters Guild I have maxed out. It's just an easy way to farm credits is doing the uh, ERT bounties. Strongly recommend. Uh, this was for the Xenothread event. And you got Hurston Security. Northrock is the main one. I need to finish maxing them out. Uh, I lost a bunch of progress on that from canceling missions. And then I usually do Crusader because if you have a three man group farming ERTs in Crusader, uh, you can just have one person at each moon and pop a, an ERT, share it. And then everybody kills a target and then you pop the next one and you can just, you know, knock them out in rapid succession like that instead of having to quant back and forth across the moons. Anyway, that's an easy way to start uh, farming credits. Uh, just get out there and get to it and have fun. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff you can do, uh, mining and uh, package delivery and stuff, but in my opinion, like, if, you, if you're starting out with a starter ship, this is the way to go. Uh, this will be an easy way for a new player to learn the basics of the flight and combat systems and also to save up money to buy that next tier ship uh, whether you're going for something like a buccaneer like a high dps uh, light fighter or something more like a vanguard you know a heavy fighter with a lot of tank to it so anyway i hope this is helpful to new players uh, have fun and enjoy in these shields, man.
right, now we got the adds cleared. Regen some thrusters so I can maneuver, hopefully. And we'll see if we can uh, circle fuck this hammerhead. trying to uh, keep my circle slightly faster than his ability to track me and also trying to stay close to the outer uh, range limit of his guns. Also as this fight moves higher out of atmosphere the more advantageous it is to me. Let's me use my uh, speed and maneuverability more to my advantage than in the atmosphere. Shields of full health. Right now we've actually turned the hammerhead off with our uh, distortion gun, 
So now I'm gonna missile dump them with my size 2 Tempest missiles. It's actually much more difficult to aim when he's turned off. But my distortion gun should keep him from turning back on. That's pretty crazy, that's with one size 3 distortion gun. And these hammerheads are so weak right now too. If I if you get the shield faces down and pop them with a couple of like size three uh, thunderbolt missiles or a size five scimitar or a, you know four to eight mix size two and size one missiles, you'll actually permanently destroy the power plant to where the ship will like never actually turn back on, even player ships. Hammerhead's in a pretty bad place lately. Hopefully uh, SIG is going to increase projectile speed and weapon range uh, to make some of these uh, ships more viable, but who knows. There we go, there's an ERT. Now we made uh, 65,000 credits. Uh, that took a while because uh, kind of just taking my time and uh, we're also not using an ideal ship for it or at least a ship that I'm like familiar with using. This is today's the first day I've actually used this. Uh, but anyways, uh, have fun. You can, uh, you can do pretty much anything in this game with your starter ship. It'll just get progressively easier, you know, as you upgrade your ship. Definitely upgrade your components in whatever ship you're using. Don't run stock in anything. It's just silly. And uh, get out there and have fun, guys. And uh, the last uh, advice I can give any new player is find a group of people who have a play style that appeals to you. Whether it's ganking or piracy or mining or cargo or mercenary or bounty work or a mixture of all of the above find a group that you can play with that you like playing with and join up with them uh, everything in this game like all uh, open world survival uh, type games uh, everything is intended for you to like have a team uh, nothing in this game is really built for a single player system so find a group that you like and uh, Join up and have fun.